What's up, lifelong learners? It's your boy, Mr. Hang, and I'm back with another editing tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. And today, we're gonna be learning how to use the opacity setting to fade in video, fade down video, and superimpose video. Don't forget that this is a sequential lesson. Look at that playlist right there. Follow the video in sequence, and you will not get confused. Okay, let's get into the video. Since 2006, I've been teaching high school kids how to transform their lives through education. So, consider subscribing and join the mission to make the hood all good. In the last class, this is what we did, or the last lesson, shall I say. <laughs> Man, I'm so used to teaching class, you know, I just want to say the last class. This is what we're going to be focusing on today. This is what we learned last time. And so we're going to be doing keyframing to fade in and out video. And then we're also going to be using video on top of video to superimpose video or photos. I'm going to introduce opacity and then uh, show you fading in and out. And then I'm going to show you superimposing. So I've already got my stuff all set up here. So this is an example of what is superimposing. Watch this video right here. I'm sleeping. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm waking up. <laughs> All right, so you guys can see right there, um, this is superimposing, and you can see me slowly fading this superimposing out. You guys see that? All right, so this was actually uh, edited in Premiere Pro, but you can also do the same thing in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing you wanna do here is you wanna find two clips, two video or a photo and a video, it's up to you. And then I'm going to teach you how to fade in from black. All right, so here is the opacity slider. Remember to click on inspector here. Here's the opacity slider. Opacity, opacity determines how see-through you want to make the video to be. So that right there is actually see-through. Now it went to black because normally this is all black. Now if I roll over, okay, to this, and I change this back to 100% opacity, let me just show you here. This is black right now, but if I take it back to 100% opacity, you're gonna see that whole video, there's no see-through. But let's say that this video layer is blocking that video layer. So the top video layer has priority to be seen, but when you change the opacity, make sure you click on that link, I mean click on that video clip, and then you can slide down the opacity. Do you see how I'm making the top video more see-through down to the bottom video. So opacity is just how much see-through are you allowing? I know this is like so elementarily worded, but I hope you just get the point, okay? So I'm gonna make this 100, like Mr. Hang. I'm always 100 with it, you know. And then I'm going to make this thing called a keyframe. Click on that right there. And then I'm going to change and make a keyframe right here. Okay, I should see a keyframe when I click on this keyframe icon right here. I see a keyframe right there. And then I'm gonna move this over and I'm going to fade up. Okay, I'll make another keyframe. So right now, both keyframes are 100%. But if I make this first keyframe 0%, it's going to fade from black back up to the full video. You see how that video fade up from black? So you're telling the keyframe to go from zero to 100. And if you play it back, you can see these numbers move right here from zero to 100 as the video keeps playing over time. That was fading in from black. How do you fade out? So you're going to go to the, begin the end of this video. You're going to make a keyframe there by clicking this button. And then you're going to go all the way to the end of the video and then you are going to click on that keyframe again and then make that keyframe 0%. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from the full video to fading to black. You wanna jump to this keyframe, you can drag until it jumps on top of the keyframe or you can go over here and push right, you get to that keyframe and then you can click on the keyframe to get rid of the keyframe. So for right now, I have this thing on screen and at zero opacity, but if I take it to 100, you can kind of see the opacity level there, okay? 
and I'm going to change this again by deleting the keyframes. And if I want to reset these keyframes right here, I could just click on the reset button right there and then I will not have any keyframe anymore. And I can use this composite mode and put on anything that I want and see how this looks different. And you can just play around with this, but what I prefer in my video is that I use a uh, screen or I use soft light. It's, it's just, I think I like screen better. So just pick what you like and then you can modify the opacity level right here. And then you can see how I'm blending this black with this light color nicely together until you like it. And you can click on this right here to create keyframes. So if I don't want to use the presets like these, I'll go back to normal and then I actually use keyframes instead. So let's say I want to fade up to superimpose. I'm going to fade. Let's say I'll make a keyframe in the beginning right here of this part. So I'm going to make this keyframe zero. Okay. And then I'm going to click on this so I can see the keyframe. I'm going to let it stop right there. And then I'm going to put a keyframe right here that is going to be 50% or 40%. So I can still see myself. Okay. Let's, let's say about 33%. That looks pretty good. Okay. And then I'm going to drag over here and I'll make another keyframe that is going to be 33%. And then I'm going to drag it back down at the end right here, make another keyframe and drag it down to zero. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to fade up. I'm going to see this video for a little bit and then I see my fading up of superimposing and I leave it at 50%. Let's say, yeah, I leave it at 33% for a reason and then it'll be 33% until it gets to this keyframe. So it looks meshed together and superimposed and then I'm going to keep dragging and I'll fade this top video back down to see only the bottom video only because the top video went to 0% opacity. So that is pretty much how you can do superimposing using keyframing. Okay, so the next time I'm gonna show you how to do keyframing with audio, and this is how you fade up and down audio to fade music up from the beginning and then down, so on and so forth. So just make sure you subscribe for that. Okay, so let's go back to Mr. Hang with the fancy camera to end this video. Okay, your boy Mr. Hang would really appreciate it if you leave a thank you in the comments down below if you learned something new and don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have anything you want to learn leave it in the comments down below as well so if you want to know what type of equipment that i'm using to record all this stuff links are in the descriptions down below and don't forget to do what that guy right there yeah that guy right there don't forget to do that because I have a few more tutorials coming up. And don't forget, please watch these videos in sequential order because it won't make sense unless you watch it in sequential order. Okay, so with that all being said, let's get to the goodbyes. Get your hands ready. Here we go. Rock, paper, peace. Let's hang out again in the next video.